I'd imagine you could find a crayon that's the same stuff that you use for the spray paint, like a clear enamel. Yeah, well, they do have a, they have a matte, a clear matte finish, like, that, so. That'd be sweet. I think that's us live now. Yep. Hang on, why the hell am I getting? Can you still hear, see me, Keegan? Yep, I still see you. Oh, yeah, we're live now, so. I think that's us live, isn't it? I'll just go to my channel. It says live up in the corner, anyway. Yeah, I think so. Yep, we're live, so keep an eye out for the chat. See, I sent the invite out to a load of people, like, so if anybody wants to join in, they can join in. But they're, they're probably all over listening to what's going on with ProLine and what do you call it, Horizon at the minute of of yeah. freaking out trying to get their questions asked like you know so. hey wayne wayne's in the chat hey wayne, wayne Kibler. Kibler. oh yo thanks for stopping in we'll definitely be at your chat tonight at eight o'clock we and that's for sure because i want to see that guinea body when you peel it because when you dipped it it looked awesome right yep yeah, so i'm just ra- i'm just ranching on the on the bills for STE 2020 or 2021. So that's what I'm wrenching on, Wayne. So I just said, while I'm wrenching, I might as well just do a bit of live, you know? Mess about. Uh, I wonder if I should turn the camera down. I should probably turn the camera down so people can see what I'm actually at. Right. You know? Wayne Kibler, hey, hey, yo, yo, cool, nice. <laughs> awesome, Wayne. I just had a freaking, look, when you, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see my freaking mirror. Can you see the, can you see? There's a, I don't know, but it'll see the slight little crack in the bloody thing? Yep, in the middle. Yeah, I was, I was cleaning up last night, cleaning stuff off my bench. I saw it was a. Uh, I thought it was just one of the end pieces off the parts tree. I put it between my fingers and snapped it. And as soon as I snapped it, I was like, "Oh man, that's the mirror!" Like I was like, "Crap!" Lucky though, I didn't. I didn't throw it into one of the bags or something. Like, oh, there's the tank joining in too. Nice. The tank joining in. He had an awesome uh, comp at his house. Saw some yeah. videos. A- Angel Demon, I think, is the video. The guy that was putting out a couple videos. At Tank's house. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tank. Oh, somebody's got a six by six. Where? Where? Yeah. <laughs> or is that your is that your RC four wheel drive one? Yeah, it's the Beast. Oh, the Beast. I thought you got a new one there because I just seen an upside down six by six. I was like, what? Beast. No, I'm uh, just finishing the the headlights for it. Uh, Chris, when he had it, he put underglow lights, but he never put headlights. And tomorrow I'm going to an, a, a kind of an urban crawl. It's a park crawl at night. So I'm going to bring this thing at night uh, and have fun. They're going to be bringing some rigs, some trucks, semi-trucks and crawlers. So I'll bring this guy. I might try to run around the town again. Oh, there yeah. Yeah. Island RC Duke, welcome in. Yeah, so I'm just I just bored tank, so I said when I'm when I'm working on this thing, I might as well just do it live. Like because last week when I was doing live, that's when I actually Kevin Gibbs came up with the idea to do the light up dashboard on the radios. So I said I might as well do another live. You never know what. Because I actually want I don't know why they're on this one. If I should clear lacquer, do a clear lacquer after I put okay. all the stuff on it or something, like, you know, mm-hmm. just keep it going. Hey, Pigeon mm-hmm. Kicker, what's up? Christ King, what's up? Um, yeah, so what is a tank around your local town? Kevin Gibbs, what's up? So, so, Kevin, I was just saying how you gave me the idea last week to do the light up dashboard. So now that it's modified it actually looks a lot better you can't see the light through it anymore so i have ordered the lights to go in behind it so when i get the lights to go in behind it then i'll fasten that part on 
need to buy some Amazon lights. Yeah, but no, right. I have. I've ordered the uh, little one-inch LED strips. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah. little one-inch LED strips will go right in behind it. So, Wayne Kevlar's our Star Trek Adventure lives are fun. Yeah, they are we, and I will definitely be at yours tonight at eight o'clock to see the unveiling of that body. We'll definitely be at that. Wow, Kevin Gibbs is uh, not Kevin Gibbs, but uh, Wayne Kibler is doing a live tonight. Yeah, tonight at eight, he's on Veilin. He's doing a Tamia Tuesday live. Okay. He built a body last week, or he honey dipped, not honey dipped. He has his kid sure. dips or something in it. Yeah. Honey, honey just honey dips. Has his kid dips or something they call it in it. Yep. Carmen Gia. Cool. Yeah. Your comp looked like it was a lot of fun, Francois. I was watching the sumo wrestling. I haven't watched the second video yet, but from uh, Angel Demon. Yeah, well, there, yeah, there's a guy that put a whole bunch of. Um, uh, I'll, I'll post a link up. Uh, I think I did post one already, but anyways, I'll post a couple of other ones. But he's uploaded like 15 of them so far, and he's got like 45 to go. Like all bunch of six minute clips of all different areas. He's um, got a whole bunch of them. Areas off the track. Yeah. Um, so, so, it looks yeah, like you was, had a really nice turnout for it. Yeah, 31 people. It was a good turnout, and uh, uh, everybody was spread apart except for a little tiny group, but they basically came, came together, so uh, everything was fun and nice. Yeah, well, 31, that's a, that is a pretty big turnout. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to do a beat the clock again. i got to come up with the rules again, write them up, and see what I wrote last year and for the points and things like that. So right now I'm just cleaning up, getting my batteries ready and for stuff for tomorrow. So fun, fun, fun. So I'm just getting the lights and the grills. I'm not putting all the plastics in yet. Is there, they, these actually go in afterwards. So they will, they can go in after. Uh, and I just want to, I'm still trying to decide if I like if I do a clear lacquer. I don't want to do it with all the lights and everything in because then all the glass will get fogged up with a clear lacquer. Yeah. I made that I made that mistake one time before. I went over went over the windows and everything with a clear lacquer. And next minute the windows turned all like misty. I was like, what just happened? But when you're a noob, you live and you learn. This part of a part of it, you know. The mm -hmm. Wayne Kibler, this is for USTE twenty twenty one, so you need to get your you need to get your ball rolling. This is one of a couple that's going to USTE twenty one. Once you get those hinges you'll be able to put your other one back together. What's that tank? Those are little tiny badges. My camera, I guess I'm too close. Uh, they're like oh. when you write Ford on the side of your truck or GMC, whatever. Yeah, they're yeah, that yeah. small there to put, but they're actually my logo, the tank RC. So oh, True, cool. North, True North RC made these for for me to uh, put on my truck. So it's really cool. Pretty cool. So what do you think, guys? Should I do the in, Should I do the inside of the silver? It's hard to see the detail. Let me see if that'll silver wear. At the back, yeah, yeah. yeah. See the way it has like the radiator and everything in there. It's hard I'm, not, to I'm not sure silver, but a, a gray would look nice, like a gray or something, maybe. Yeah, because a radiator, a radiator is usually a grayish kind of color. Yeah, so maybe I should do like a gray, not not like an aluminum or something. No, like no, I wouldn't do aluminum. Yeah, unless those are aluminum radiators. I'm not sure. I know, yeah, I know the actual truck is mainly all aluminum. And that's the only reason, like, I really wanted to do my my old Range Rover. I really wanted to do it all rusted and looking, but in real life, realistically, the thing is actually aluminum, so it doesn't rust. You know? yeah. so I was like, having to answer a lot of comments by not doing it. What's that? You, you wouldn't, a lot of people would be commenting, telling you that it's aluminum and it shouldn't be rusted. And... Yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that's the thing, like, even though you're, even though it's only an RC and for a bit of fun, like, you know, you'd be getting all the, oh, well, technically the thing doesn't rust, so why have you got rust on it? And it's like, come on, dude, get get over it. 
I'm only playing. I'm only playing and having fun. That's killer, Frank. Copper. Oh, you reckon do like a copper collar? Yeah, that could actually be. That could be an idea, Christ King. I don't know, but I don't know if I have a copper collar there. Oh, I have like a. I have like a brownie collar, like a rusty collar that I done. I done the manifolds on the on the Range Rover, like the manifolds coming down. I made them look like they were rusty. Okay. But, uh, so maybe maybe I could do something like that. Might be cool. Nice idea, Crash King. See, that's why it's good to do these lives and have people give you their. Their thoughts as well. Yeah. Now for the annoying part of these, this build, like, I don't know why people still use Phillips head screwdrivers. Like, these tiny little Phillips heads is ridiculous. I was I was watching Scale News front today, and they, I don't know if it was this week or last week's, but he uh, had one of those. They had the new Orlando Rock Bouncers, little tiny thirty oh, fifths. Tiny ones. Yeah, I think Alan from STP. I think he just got one as well. I think, so. I think so. Uh, Chris from GCM Racing uh, talked about it today. Uh, he was on the phone with him, and he said, "I I don't need. I have no use for them, but I just want one." <laughs> yeah. Cool looking. Yeah. Make sure you have your eyes on before it started. Yeah. So I just want one to put in the back of a, one of my pickup truck or one of my scale truck. Just have one there. It looks like a kid's buggy. You know, they, they used to make some for the kids like that. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. I'm on the live. What's up? So was there any uh, carnage in the sumo wrestling? Any broken parts flying in or? Didn't look too bad. There's a guy that broke his bumper, uh, broke the weld or something like that in the front where he put the bumper. Other than that, um, not a lot of people wanted to jump in. It was a last minute thing I did, but uh, it, not a lot of people did. I think there's only three people that did it and uh, nobody else. It was their first rig or they weren't too experimented. So they didn't want to wreck their car too much. And a lot of people, well, if I would have known, I would have brought my other truck, my beater truck or my beater body or whatever. So hopefully right. next time there's going to be more people. Nice. Now, how, how did you make the table? It looked like it was sloped on the edges. I no, actually, right. it's... Just, Guys, sorry. I'll be back in one minute. Hold on. Okay. Okay, Sean. It's just, it's just two pieces of plywood, two piece four by eight uh, that I had, and I just put them together with a uh, two by six in the middle, uh, screwed it all up, and then I took a, a, a gauge to do a circle. So it's actually eight feet round. Uh, and so, then it, it's just uh, to reinforce again on the two by four underneath. But um, there, there's no edges or nothing. I just paint painted the red around it, and it looks like it, there's an edge, but there's no edge. It's it's just okay. so it, it was fun. It's, it's yeah, definitely. Fun. Any event near your place coming up? None that I'm aware of. Uh, I guess up in Buffalo, there's a, a pretty cool place that some, somebody was telling me about on one of the lives I might look into a couple hours away. Well, it's just um, like me. The event tomorrow night is like two, two and a half hour drive for me to go there. But like there must have been 10 people from Pembroke that came to my event. So oh, I wow. want to go there also tomorrow night just because I'm, I'm on vacation anyways. And uh, it is a night event. It's going to end at ten, so by the time I'm back, it's going to be midnight. But I don't mind. I don't. I like driving, and uh, so it's going to be fun. Tim you, get, you don't get to run that that much. No. So that's cool. Now, is it a call like an urban crawl or anything again? Yeah, it's kind of an urban crawl, but uh, it's it's a park crawl. He calls it a park crawl. They have a big park there, and it's a concrete path that we're going to follow. And uh, it's two kilometers to go to the um, uh, to the boatyard from the from where we're going to start from the parking lot. So we're going to walk two kilometers and walk two kilometers back. So it's a four kilometer walk. So it's going to be a nice little walk. What's that? In, what's yeah. that in miles, kilometers? 
probably a mile and a half. Yeah, it's a little over a mile. Over a mile from the I'll tell you what, them doors actually have a good spring to them. Oh, they do? Good. Yeah. So, so and, and you can actually position them in different positions too, and they actually hold up. It's pretty cool. Little, little magnets don't seem to work though. I know. No. Not holding. Yeah, they don't seem to be. Maybe when you get the whole truck put together and everything's aligned right. So they will, you know, hopefully. Yeah, two kilometers is 1.243 miles. Okay, so one and a quarter. Yeah. That's a long enough walk. Mm. Ah. It's a nice park walk in the dark. Yeah. Right, well, heat of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main thing, like as long as the heat's gone. Hey, John Martin, you don't have any video. Got to run. I'm at work. Have fun, guys. No problem, Wayne. We'll see you tonight at 8 o'clock. Hey, Sean, if it's going to be a military vehicle, you should paint the headlight lens in the collar of the truck. No halfway, huh? I never thought of that, Kevin Gibbs. See, this is, this is the good thing about doing these. So, John Net Cruiser was at the races today. Did a pretty cool video. Oh, he was racing again, was he? Yep. At uh, in, in Quebec, I think at Canadian Nationals or something like that. that was pretty good. Weekend. That was last weekend, no? No, oh, that was last weekend. No. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's just uh, put it off and... this this weekend he was a, a local race here. I saw him. Uh, okay. But yeah, at the Nationals, he, that was uh, two weeks ago. Okay. And uh, this weekend, he did pretty good. He got first place uh, for Truggy. Oh, nice. That's all. Awesome. See, that, that magnet definitely works a lot better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it on backwards by chance? Yeah, yeah do you have pulled up on the front? Yeah, I will never have the, the front ones backwards. More than likely, I have, you know. Mm-hmm. Knowing me, anyway. Yeah, because the low. back one snaps in, no problem. So. Uh, I bet you I do have that, that, that backwards, probably. I bet you I know what I've done. Where's the other door? So I bet you this one sticks to this door. And I bet you it pushes away from the other side. I bet you I put the two of them on the wrong. Right. Yeah, that seems to stick on that one. Hmm. Maybe the door quite flat on the passenger side? Yeah, well, maybe. I think maybe they are pushing apart. Oh, okay. It looks like on the inside it's bowing in when you're pushing on it. Word. Yeah, like that's, the, the, that, that's me trying to... So I think it is pushing the magnet. I think it is, like say, when I try and push it in, it's pushing it out. Okay. The yeah. magnet is backwards. Repelling. Yeah. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Pop it out and try to flip it, see what it does. Uh, they're, they're pain in the ass to get in and out. Well, yes, yeah, I, I realize, I realize that, but I'm just... <laughs> I know, yeah. I'll try it. I'll definitely try it. Like, like Maybe you could put a hole in behind it and push it out with a pin or something. Yeah, I'll have to do something like so. I'll figure some way of getting it out. I'll figure out some way. Hey, General Hi, Hobbies. General Hobbies, what's up? So, is that the, that's the truck you're taking then, Tank? Yeah. I'm just debating. I'm asking right now the guy at uh, 110 Hobby see if he's got a spare trailer because uh, I wouldn't mind pulling a trailer and having my 34 Ford behind it. Ah, oh, that would be sweet, yeah. Because otherwise I'm going to put Herbie back in here. But uh, I, I, I'd rather bring the uh, 34 Ford. It would be cooler. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And there'll probably be fit in the back of that, no problem, yeah. The 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 Ford uh, 34 Ford does not fit behind here uh, because the box is not wide enough. It's missing about half an inch. Yeah, but Harvey fits in it. Yeah, Herbie fits in it perfectly. The MO, MO chassis fits in there. So I got my uh, Chrome Miata fits in there, my Herbie, or my, um, oops, this guy there, what they call those again. Yeah. What's up, fellas? Just watching Scale Builders with the Horizon and Proline fellas on. Yeah, I know General Hobbies is like, I don't do enough business with Proline for them to for me to sit and watch that. So it's like two two rich guys talking to each other, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little, I didn't realize you got a little Mini Cooper too. Yeah, this one's my son's. I, well, it's it's mine. I gave it to him, but yeah, it's uh, it fits pretty good in there. I think that's what I must have done because look, this front door is doing the same. So I think yeah. I put the I put the magnet for that side on this side. I think I vice versa the magnets. Right. When the door was loose, it was easy to. Yeah, so that's way too coincidental that it's the two of them doing the same thing. Like. Yeah, because look, it doesn't even, I can make the two of them touch, but just pushing it. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> dang it. They are not easy to get out. One way to extend the build. Yeah. That's it. I will, uh, I'd never get it all finished this week. You know, I'll probably do another live next week to work on it as well. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a lot of crap to do to it. Yeah, I would think if you take a little a tiny little drill bit and stop before the magnet, you know, and then you can just take a pin or something and push yeah, it out or, push it or something. Do it from the inside or something so where it can't be seen, you know. Do you use super glue on it? I freaking did, that's the problem. I glued them in. They do make like a super glue dissolver, but yeah. I don't know what it does to play. Yeah, it might destroy the ABS though too. Right. Kevin Gibbs says he likes the Mini better than the Herbie anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the Mini is cool. What? I like that uh, Italian job movie where they stole the gold in them. Uh, yeah, the original one, though, the one from like the, it's from the 70s, that original Is that one, that Michael Keaton, yeah, Michael Keaton is actually the main character in it, that nice. one, and the driving in that one is a million times better than what they have in the newer one, like, the newer one is way too, way too set up and state, like, they didn't have the sophistication back in the 70s to manipulate things like they had in the newer one, like, you know, but the old yeah. one is, because the old one is where the bus and everything comes from, so where they actually put the vehicles up into the bus. Yeah, so that definitely has to be the reason, because, like, this one is, this one's locking in as well. Like, mm -hmm. so definitely has to the two front ones that, that's what i definitely done i think i put the two magnets on the wrong sides you might try to heat up an exacto knife or something and put it in or beside the magnets and melt it a yeah. little bit or something i might do what you said like because i could drill it from i could drill it from the inside where it would never be seen so i could yep. put it because the magnet is actually see up in here oh yep yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's up in the top there, yeah. Yeah, so from it from the inside here somewhere, I could probably drill a little, a little just a pinhole and poke it out that way or something like you know. Yeah. But that's what I get for gluing them before I put it together, I guess. You know? 
Yeah, doors on before next time. Yeah, definitely. But it is starting to look. Oh, yeah, it looks real good. That is, the doors don't close, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Even got the rear view mirror in. So the rear view mirror, you can see there's actually like mirrored glass in it, too. Crazy. So the mirrored glass in there. Hey, Brett. AZ Froggy's more just jumped in. Hey, AZ Froggy, how are you? I actually forgot to copy him on the email or what I sent him an email. Sean, yeah. I pulled up military Land Landies and the grill are the same color as the truck. Or black. Or black, yeah. That'll look good. Stand hey, color grill. Hey Voodoo, what's up? I did send you an invite, Voodoo, if you want to jump in. You're sitting around bored, like me. Hey Daniel. Putting magnets in backwards. You'd be all right. Yeah. That's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to number these, like which one was one, two, three, and four. Like so. Now you get to <laughs> yeah. try them on for some. I try and match each one like for that one. It's not for there. It's not for there. So that must be for that side. Looks like Brett's been out at doctor's offices all day. Yeah. Okay, I think he, maybe it's from that fall he took a little while ago. Hopefully everything's okay. Yeah, he fell a few nights ago. Like, so. Hopefully everything's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you which one of these go on this freaking thing? Guess I'll turn it up this way, it might be a bit easier. That's one thing I do like too. All the mirrors are the mirrors actually fold. Oh, nice. So when it does, because I'm sure it will see a rollover or two. <laughs> Hopefully, not into the water. I know, yeah. Kevin Gibbs says he's painting a mural in the RC room, watching when he's on break. Oh, it is, uh, nice. How's that, um, how's that LC70 coming along, Kevin? You gotta give us a few Facebook updates or something on it. So, JP Slayer, what's up? Sorry I'm late for the meeting. Hello, Sean and everyone. Hello, JP. Hey, JP. So yeah, Kevin, I'm looking for a few updates on that LC70 on your Facebook or something. Maybe that's what the mural's for, a backdrop for photography. Yeah, could be. That'd be cool. I got a big Kyosho banner given to me uh, after the crawl, so now I got a big Kyosho banner. Nice. Some wall art. Yeah. That's weird. The doors look a slightly different color than the, the body. Uh, once there's mud on it, it won't show too much. Yeah. <laughs> once you clear coat it all too, it'll blend it a little bit better. Yeah. I wonder if the plastics are slightly different or maybe you didn't shake the can quite as much for one of them or something. Yeah. Probably weird. Or a little too close. Yeah. And no freaking magnets just annoying me. I know. <laughs> it, it, it just just about figures, you know. Yeah. You Murphy's know, Law. There's always that one little thing like in there. Mm-hmm. Go back and tweak it later. Yeah. You'd be the only one that noticed. So you're going around the corner and the door's open. <laughs> I know, yeah, the door's open and the, the driver and passenger fall out. Yeah. 
Oh, there is nice tea. That would that would only that only be uh fitting if they get some sort of like firecracker or something go off just as it's happening too. Yeah, yeah. You know. Brett says it was actually a second COVID swab and hearing test. Mm. And that didn't happen because of insurance. Yeah, you never know. The fine print and insurance, you go to use it, and all of a sudden, I know sometimes, you yeah. sometimes you wonder why the freaking hell you pay insurance, even like yeah. Yeah. Well, if we had had a brain, we'd get universal health care in the United States before we're in trouble. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Like, you know, you pay the amount of money you pay on health insurance, and then it's like it does freaking nothing anyway. Like, you know, D yep. Greens RC, what's up? Just don't forget to hit the thumbs up, everyone. Give it a chance. Yeah, you got to have health insurance and then supplementary health insurance. And... Yeah, it's crazy. Like, and a lot of it though is to for people like my father-in-law, is he he consults for hospitals. So he he signed a contract there for three hundred and three hundred and forty thousand a year for twelve weeks. So he only goes to the hospital for twelve weeks for that money. And he, he signed yep. for like four hospitals. So he spends 12 weeks in each one. And I, I was like, but this is why our insurance is so high. And he's, his answer to me, if it wasn't maybe somebody else, that was his True. answer to me. Like, so I, how could I argue with that? Like, you know? mm -hmm. But it's Big crazy, bit. the money. He just consults. For, he's, he shut down his own practice. And then he just consults for them. Like, you know? So we say the, the practice, all the stupid this lawsuits were getting out of control. Like people yep. would sue you just because you looked at them wrong in the freaking waiting room or something like that. Grant just popped in. Hey, Grant. These green RCs. I like your shirt, John. Green Monster. It's nice. Good old Boston shirt. John would like that. Yeah, that's it. Coming in, coming to a Boston guy's um, chat, you might as well put the Boston gear on too, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. And so, so how's that slice coming along, John? Which one? The one you were working on last night there. The... Oh, I've been working, I've been working on all, I've been working on about four of them today. Oh, yeah. So that's what I said. Which one? They all needed something or a little tweak in here and there, and yeah, I just had to put the had to re-put a bead lock on the pro stock. Let's see the slice. So I changed the tires on it. And built extra shocks because I'm gonna try something. I, one of the one of the corner one of the track owner said hey try this and i'm like oh you know what if i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try the whole gambit yeah you know might as well look how tiny these yeah. bloody screws are damn it's freaking insane isn't it yeah yeah so i got a i got a shock that's got a three quarters inch limiter in it a half inch limiter a quarter inch limiter and a full shock what <laughs> yeah. oh, Frank is that fuel line or something on the shock yep. shaft? Yep. Mm. yep, yep, yep. First jet drag there was called the Green Monster, also. There you That's go, good. driven by Art and Furnace. Okay, you know. That's good to do on your crawlers, John, so you don't bottom out your shocks. Hey, Kurtz RC, what's up? Oh, yeah. So if you're just joining in, guys, we are just working on the Defender. So this is what we're putting together right now. This is actually going to be for UST um, 2021. One of the builds that I'll be doing for it. I did build a Range Rover, but I already took that out and crashed it already. So I'm waiting on parts coming back in for that. All right, waiting on a parts delivery. Yeah, well, actually, they they said I should have them tomorrow. 
like they sent me an email nice. saying, yeah, saying all the new hinges should be here tomorrow. It'll be nice. So then, That's pretty fair. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll get all them hinges changed out and get that back to looking like new. Hopefully, yeah. looking like new. It has, a few, yeah, it has a few scrapes and scores like AR saying, Master, what's up? Just some character. What we're talking about, McMaster, we're building a new range over. So I will show you all the doors open, everything. So we're building a new range over for USD 2021. I know it sounds funny saying 2021, but February will not be long coming around. Right? Mm -hmm. Here before we know it. And you got to get it built, get it out, get it tested, and everything. Dad's FPV Dad's just popped. FP, welcome in. There's your brother. So, yep, another, as I will say, another crawler. Only this time a real scaler. So, and I have, I'm sure it'll be well run before USTE, but. It's one of the one of the builds for USD. Plus, it's your first time with that chassis, the BR01 chassis. Yeah, so. it is. So I'll have some tweaking and adjusting to do for that. I'm sure. You know, I have the I have the 20 turn motor sitting there. I have the um, the Power HD servo. I have one of these servos, Power HD, to win it. I have that. Nice. I have the uh, freaking hay bales and all that. So I have the hobby wing 1080 sitting there. And I have. Those are uh, come by right now. Yeah. And then I have uh, the Nitro Hobbies. The, these motors, man, I, I fall in love with these. Like the, the 20 turn creeper, creepy crawler, they call it. I can't put the price on them. That's surprising. Yeah, $20. Me. This thing is, man. And that's uh, actually like. Have you seen my Range Rover running? That's one of these that's running the Range Rover. So it is. It's like just perfect. Like it's not, it's not fast or anything. There's nice creeping speed on it. Nice, because it's like a 55 turn motor. Like you know. Oh, lots of torque. Yeah. All right, Kurt, have a good one. Let's see it is popped in. Go back to work. Look at where they do, look where they decide to put a screw on this thing. Right right here. And like yeah, in line with the I can't even get it, it's way down lower. I can't even get screwdrivers in. Need a right angle screwdriver, any yeah, tiny one. Really. This is why they need to stop making Phillips heads. It's like if that was a if that was a little Allen key there, you'd have no problem, you'd get it in. Like you could get yeah the wobbler bits or something. Yeah. The round head. That is crazy. You know, crazy. You know what I'll have to do? I take this head out. I'll take this head out and get it between a pair of needle nose pliers or something. So I can do that. Mm -hmm. Having to do that is crazy. Right, caveman it in. Yeah. That's like shocking. Don't pinch your finger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not to have to do this not in this day and age. I understand having to do that in the 80s. Well, it worked at least. I mm -hmm. understand having to do that back in the 80s when Tamiya was flat out with that stuff. But even though they're still flat out with their... They're still flat out with bloody... um, What do you call it? Phillips head screwdrivers. Grant says the real Tania screwdrivers that, with that weird patented tip or a real uh, make a big. Hey, Sticky Frosty, welcome. I know you're Rich. probably. I know you're probably still at work, Rich. I mm -hmm. did send you an invite if you do feel like jumping in. Phillips head screwdrivers are cheaper. Yeah, that's that's true. 
Oh, uh, Christ, Kevin, we'll chat to you later. Have a good one. Yeah, Kevin, they probably are a lot cheaper to do, but it's crazy. Like AC Froggies, I didn't know until AC Froggy was telling me that the freaking King Hauler and everything is actually Phillips Head screwdrivers as well. Yep. That's, That's it. Me a tip. That's Ideally. Crazy. I think time like we got yeah, time Tuesday. Yeah. Hey, Tuesday, what's up? I picked up one of those screwdrivers. I'm working on my landy. I, I am. I'm just. I just finished putting the doors and all on there. Look, Jay, so nice. Everything will open. So, I'll get the back on the bed and get the doors in the back. No, too. So I'm working on your on your landy. Yep. So you need to tell Billy you need one of these in your life. You know, not mm -hmm. another visor. Yeah, ready, guys. I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. Wife is beckoning for dinner. Not a problem, JM. Have a good one. All right. Yeah, I just thought. Uh, Later. Yeah. But you have one of them to me, a screwdriver's pint, don't you? Yeah, I do. And uh, it works a heck of a lot better on the screws. Way better. Yeah, it's just designed for their yep. for their head, like, you know? Yep. Lacos 179, welcome. Hey, Lacos, welcome in. Well, it's uh, it, it's fucking crazy though. Like it's it's twenty twenty, and they're still using Phillips head screwdrivers. Like even finding a Phillips head screwdriver now is like nearly impossible. Harley said it's all about the money. Yeah, there's a big difference in price. And they're all about making any penny they can on the kit, and the. Like he, he said, you can buy uh, hex hardware. I think they sell hex hardware for Tamiya kits if you really go looking, you know. Yeah, but uh, but it's crazy though. You're gonna buy the whole kit and then have to buy a whole freaking hardware set afterwards just to put it. And, and bearings because it comes with bushings. Yeah, it's just freaking craziness stuff. The MO3 is alive. Nice. That's the little. That's the little mini cover, yeah. Yeah. Come with drive. Nice. I'm surprised Brad hasn't stopped by to yell at me. He yelled at me on. He yelled at me on Thursday night. Well, night. I sent him the invite the other night when I made one on Sunday. He goes, "Are you going to make one every night? Are you going to make one every Sunday?" No, it was just a special day. Well, are you going to make one tonight? No. Yeah. He yelled at me. Sir. He's like. How come Sean's doing this and not the tank? And where's my invite, Sean? Oh, yeah. He's like, I don't have your email to start with. It's like, <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, I, I was asleep already Sunday, or else I would have stopped doing. Yeah, so the uh, RCU next Tuesday tank says your truck's a beast. Looks awesome. Thank you. I just finished putting lights in the front, so it's got underneath glow, but now I put uh, headlights in the front because we're going to a night crawl. And I was debating on putting a light bar in front, but there's no light bar I found for it that I like that looked like a military light bar. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't put anything yet. So Jay, this is the only thing you mightn't like about this kit. It's all the size of these little screws. <laughs> That's the only thing you mightn't like. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Gibbs saying he got uh, my Hurdy's set came with four assorted Phillips. So I guess I'll finally get to use them. Oh, yeah? I'm the LC70 kit, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Team Reefy when they did it. Team Reefy, the body, because everything, uh, everything on the boom racing one is all it's all allen key like on their chassis everything's all allen key but uh okay. but the body that goes on the chassis everything's phillips head so it's team reefy that actually do the phillips heads you know which is weird you think the two of them would hey i'm making a body for your chassis you got it like 
bit of common sense here, people, when he's talking to each other. Like, Jay says as long as he could build it on his own, he'd enjoy it. Yeah, that's the thing. Buy it for once. Yeah. And that's the only reason I'm building it here, Jay, is because people give me ideas as I go along, like, you know, so I'm contemplating them whether they're clear lacquer, they're clear lacquer over it or not. But on last week's chat, Kevin Gibbs actually gave me the idea to do so? the light up dashboard. So this radio will light up the and behind the steering wheel, all the clocks, they'll actually eventually all light up. So he gave me the idea for that. And I mean, contemplating on what to do, it's hard to see because it's all black. But with a radiator, like what color to do in behind here? So that's half the reason for doing these is because you get helpful ideas. It's military, it's orange, so not exactly bending into the surrounding is a piece camouflage ever. <laughs> yeah. I think Francois. Got it on, guys. I'll try and jump in if you're still on about an hour. No problem, Rich. Have a good one. I figured you'd be still at work anyway. Drive careful if you're driving home. Yeah. Uh, what? Where did that just go? Uh oh. There we go. That's where, oh. um, actually, your, your mats are your. Cloths, Kagan, that you sent one. I, I have one of them here now because actually the screws stick to them like glue and the screws fall on them. So actually, really Attic or something. Under, like, you know. Nice. So that's handy when it, when it sticks to them. Other than that, I'd be running around the floor there looking for these freaking things, screaming. Like, And that's a good thing about doing the lies too. It actually, I know I still curse a little, a little on them, but it stops me cursing a bit because if nobody was here watching me with this, I'd be doing some effing and blinding like. So, uh, uh, at the Phillips head screw. Luckily, touch wood. I haven't wrung any yet. I probably shouldn't have said that until I finished the freaking build. <laughs> you know, you say right. the next one I put in, head strip clean off it. Yeah. What type of logo are you going to put on it, Sean? Yeah, that I haven't thought of yet, Kevin. I don't know. I was even thinking of I have. I actually like this color the way this color came out. Um. I actually like the way this came out. I was going to do the camouflage. I have the other cans. I have the other cans there to do the green and the brown camouflage, but I don't know if I will do that because I actually like just this sandy color. Looks nice, you know. Mm -hmm. I can see an eleven Charlie bumper sticker on it. Yeah, totally, Mass Master. It is nice to have company when you're ranching, you know. Instead of me and my alter ego, just always getting in fights with each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Sean and John. Sometimes when you talk to yourself, you get in trouble. I know, yeah. I always get myself in trouble when I'm alone because I end up buying stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> talk myself into it. Who's there to stop me? <laughs> you know? But I did actually, I just ordered a, but I've, I've always wanted to try one just to see how they are. So I, I just ordered one of the self-feed soldering irons just to see how it is. Like, cause, yeah, it, it's going to make, I don't have to hold the solder wire or anything now. So it'll just feed. So you can actually have one wire in the, like, what's called in the jaws of life or whatever the hell you call them things. Open uh, hands. Yeah, so you could have one wire not holding the other wire and solder and go at the same time. So you get in trouble when you listen to yourself because you end up buying these things. I know, yeah. All right. That's nice. Thank is that the kit version? Yeah. yeah. It is the kit version, just like yeah. Tony and uh, Basher Boy has. Pro. A pro. The pro. Well, yeah. the other one is a pro too, eh? The other one, the Outlaw Rampage is a pro, the other one. 
It's okay. just not a kit. The other one is a pro. Yeah, but it doesn't have the double wheels on the back. Nope. On Only the kit does. The kit yeah. has the upgrade, but the other one is also a pro. Hmm. Ah, good to know. Careful when you're buying them. So both both of their truck, they're called Outlaw Rampage Pro, but one is a kit, the other one is not a kit. Yeah. It's weird how how the kit comes with them wheels and the other one doesn't though. Yeah. Not yeah. Totally strange how they've done that. Oh, there's yeah, so much will... upgrades on the on the on the kit version. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's it's well worth it. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely not tell Billy that, Jay. That's for sure. It's it's a hundred dollars less, but by the time you do put the electronic back into it, but I have my own remote, so, but I'm I'm gonna put. I'm going to spend less than a hundred dollars into it for electronics for the motor and ESC, and I'll use my remote I have, and I have spare receivers. So yeah, wind up with a way better truck. Yeah. So I I made a piece of foam here because I'm going to carry this Mini Cooper in the back. Calvin so, Gad said, "Fantastic, Frank." Well, I don't want the truck to keep going like this all the, all night when I'm driving, so I made a block foam. Airbag. So I'm just going to put that right in there. And it's dark, it's black, it won't show at night, and it's going to keep the car there. All right. Cool. Let me just grab the, the back and the roof. What did I do with the roof? Well, there's a lot of nice impulse buy you could do. I did a lot of reviews. I did five, six reviews lately with the uh, uh, Kyosho stuff, and that motorcycle was really sweet. Yeah, that quarter scale. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, if you just listen, if if I listen to myself, I'd buy all of them. But like, you, you got to hold off and say, "Whoa, wait a minute." There's always something cool coming down the pipeline too. You got to hold some money for. Yeah. I did the Chevelle, the Kyosho Chevelle and the Camaro. I did a review on both of them. They both have different chassis lengths. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's coming up. Uh, there's another Kyosho. There's a bunch of Kyoshos anyways that's coming up. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they just re-released a carpet carpet car they used to put out. I forget what it's yeah. called. Brad was talking about it. Looks cool. Uh, the Kyosho? Yeah. Yeah, your Brad knows exactly. He could rhyme the number off the in a heartbeat. There's a many of these screws that I need now. Like four for that, and then a lot for that. It looks like. Mass Masters thinks you should make some wheel chucks, wheel blocks to put underneath those wheels, Frank. Be more scale. Actually, somebody did print me wheel chucks for this for the beast. So when I put it in the car. I hated it that it when you pull in the car and you turn it, it turns. So that was that was my idea, and uh, the guy did it in 3D print. I'll show you what it looks like. It's it works very good. Moving around in the trunk. That's yeah, the, the times I put my cars in the back, and by the time I get somewhere, they're upside down or like lying on their sides or everywhere. I just forget they're in the back, and I'll be changing lanes and driving how I normally drive, like you know. Open the, yeah. Open the boot of the car and you think it was a hurricane and threw the freaking thing. Like That would probably be a funnier, funnier video someday. Video to before I start driving and after I'm finished driving. <laughs> right. Put some tape marks around where it started off. Yeah, put some like little scale trees standing up and all knocked over. So what I got him to print, I gave him the size of the wheel. So he printed this. It looks like a little bucket. So what I what you actually do is you just put this on the bottom of your car, and it fits on any wheel. And you just put it like that, and it stops your car from rolling. Nice. That works. Looks like a bagel cutter, kind of without the slot. That is correct. It's just like a bagel cutter without the yeah. slots. <laughs> I think I'm going to run 3S on the beast tomorrow night. And I'll see Javi say what's up. How's everything? 5,000 milliamp should last you. Well, 
uh, a full pack does fit in the front cab, but the biggest I have for right now for 3S, my I used to have a 5,000, or actually I do, but it's a long pack. But the uh, 5,000, the, the other 5,000 I had uh, is finished, it's blown up. Um, so right now the biggest pack I have for big one is 3,300. So that'll work. I got a 3,300, a 1,200, and a 1,500. So those three, I should be good for all night. Oh, yeah. One, one thing I did find out the other day, which is pretty cool, if you can fit away this piece is on here now, like this. That's nice. Oh, does it fit right over, or you got to cut the other one? No, it fits right out over. So once I screw it all in, it fits over. But they make, they actually make, like, for $50, they make the piece that will just come straight down here. Oh, okay, to make up the pickup? Yeah, so you just have it like a pickup then as well. So it's cool. So I might buy that where you can actually interchange the two of them, have it like a pickup and have it with the back That's on good it idea. as well. Yeah, it's a good idea. Something different. Where's Gibbs my... says, I'm a thousand bucks in on the DRX01 and there's still more stuff I wait. I want. Uh, DHA and D stuff is hard to hard on the wallet. Oh, that C hand, yeah, that those are really nice yeah, parts, but they are expensive. Yeah. DC hand or what? Yeah, but they they make some great stuff. The cabin and all furnace, he got the nicest LC seventy on the market. Without a shadow of a doubt, that, that firm racing LC seventy is not. It's definitely not a nicer one on the market. Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Have it at Dixieland for sale. I saw it. I was looking at it. Yeah. But now I see how much I do it without the CC hand parts yet. Yeah, the CC hand parts get expensive. For it, so. Lining these up now, the pain in the butt. I guess I gotta put my hand in through here. Maybe to line these up. I think Jay liked it as a pickup. Huh? They said. The pickup version looks amazing, Sean. I think I would make the Spectre ver version. Yeah, I think one. I think I will buy that. Like the fifty dollar part just goes right at the back. But once the, this one, the door is not the back door, and all will swing open on this one too. Like, but I might buy it so you can have it like this, and then just take it off and put the back piece on as well. So you can interchange the backs on it, or maybe okay. just buy maybe just buy the whole new, different body. The shorter body, right. as well. That'd be cool. Just the, swap them out. Yeah, buy the whole body and just what might be might actually be easier to swap in the body on the chassis than trying to swap the tops. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you have to put that sunroof in first, do you? Sandwich it in between. Maybe those little. I, I, just, noticed it, I just noticed there's like a lip in this one. The sandwich in between it. Let me just. I'm the side too, I think. Yeah. The side windows maybe too, or no? They they can go yeah. in later. Yeah, no, the side windows they they should just go in later. Yeah. Might have to clear coat it and then take it back apart. Yeah, and that's the that's the only reason I was trying to. That's the only reason I was leaving all the glass out so. It, just more laziness on my behalf, less taping and less stuff to do. Is that um Le Lena or whatever you call her tank, is it? Yeah. Is it yeah. Yeah. You know what? It looks like this does have to actually sandwich between the roof. So there's a lip on this as well. Very cool. Well, let me see. Hold on. Yeah. 
A12R1, what's up? Yep. Who does back to? Okay, notice that little lip and eye before I started screwing all that together. Oh, yeah? Yeah, taking, taking it apart afterwards. Even Don't you have to put the skylight in there, sandwich the skylight in between first? No? Yeah, in between the two wrists, yeah. Okay. Are you just test fitting everything right now? No, I was getting ready to, <laughs> I was actually getting ready to screw it on, and I realized there's a little, there's a little lip, a little groove. Sorry for the skylight. Okay. We got Mick in the chat. RC yeah, intro. What's that? RC intro. Mick's in the chat. Oh, uh, hey, Mick. How are you? Are you out yet, Mick? Or are you still? Are you out yet? Or are you still in? I watch the story. Yes. If you're out, let me know, and I'll call up one of these evenings after work, or maybe I'll call up over the weekend. See how everything goes, you know. Right. You're in our. We've been thinking about you. Hopefully everything's yeah. going well. Hopefully the surgery went good and everything good, you know? Yeah, G Green RC, he's the one that won the first place in the sumo wrestler uh, at my place. Oh, he, he, was, he won it, yeah. 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 Well, there was only three guys. We didn't do the Royal Rumble. So at the end, I said, who, who basically won all the fights? There is a guy that basically won them all, but instead I went to a pick of the draw because we're playing card. So we oh, drew okay. cards. Um, the highest card wins. So he picked the best card. Nice. Does it fit? Don't scratch it. So shiny. Yeah, nice and shiny. I see your ceiling fans turning. <laughs> ceiling fan. Yep. Oh my! I'm hypnotized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yours. Oh, it doesn't even. So he's saying he's still in a bad place. His foot's all infected. That sucks, yeah. man. Oh, he's still in there, is he? RC Voodoo yeah. says, put it in the top place. Top piece. I'll put it in the other part of the roof. Yeah, because it's not lining up. It doesn't line up with the end grooves. Maybe you have to glue it with the top. How does it sit in that one? Yeah, it's just not... So that D90 that you picked up, that whole kit, it comes with the doors the way they are, and it comes with everything? You don't have to buy upgrades for those doors or anything? No, it comes with everything, all the hinges, all the, even all the mirrors, like, are, are nice because they're all folding and everything. Nice. And it has, it has all the stuff for, the, like, in the one and all the door handles come, even all the door handles for the inside as well. Cool. Like all the interior door handles and everything come with it, which is pretty cool. Like there's a lot of them, a lot of the kits they come and then you have to end up buying all them parts afterwards. Grant said he didn't have any damage from the sumo wrestling. Yeah, Four the, all the other guys did. So, and one guy didn't want to go against the other guy because he was scared. <laughs> Well, you had a 16 inch drop or something like that, didn't you? So, yeah, so uh, I'll cut it down for next time. I'll drop it down maybe to 12 inch. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, one side. Go ahead. I just said thanks to our Andrew. He says, cool truck, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. And what time do you head out tomorrow night, then, thanks? Pardon me? What time do you head out tomorrow night to do the 
Uh, well, it's a night crawl, so it's eight o'clock. We got to be there, so it's around eight eight thirty. It starts getting dark, so uh, nine o'clock. So it's eight to ten ish that we're we're going to do that in the park. So okay, it's a two hour drive, so that means I'm going to be back at midnight. So it's two hours just to get there. Yep, yeah, two hours to get there, two hours to get back. That's a Stop and get something to eat on the way or something. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Are so you bringing food with you? Yeah. I, I'm debating either, well, I'll bring snacks, but uh, I'm going to start with a Tim Hortons with a donut shop and get a bagel or something. Nice. Kevin Gibbs is saying his kit's one of the ones that didn't come with any interior. Oh, yeah? Oh, his yeah, LC70 they're... didn't come with the interior? Nope. No. No, that LC70 came with, comes with the interior, no? Must be not. I could have swore that LC70 came with the interior. More stuff for them to get you to buy. Yeah. But that's the one that comes with get all the hopped up stuff too. So maybe you get the lit, lit dashboard and the working windows. And yeah. yeah, you got you get, there's endless amount of upgrades to that thing. That's weird. This is a slightly different shape in the even when you put it in on the top, it's a slightly different. Nick saying it looks good, Sean, after getting painted. Yeah, it did come white, Nick. If it does what? He, he was saying it looks good painted. He, he thought that it came white. He wasn't oh, positive. Yeah, so dead come painted. No, no, yours. He said Nick says that it looks good painted. He wasn't sure that it was painted. It came white. Oh yeah, yeah, it came white. Like so, I've done like the desert color, Mike. Done the desert color. Just some desert and black. So I'll do around the. I'll do around the like. See the windows has a little splitter bar in it. So there's a little splitter bar here, and there's a little splitter bar down here. And here, so I'll probably do them black, do a little black line in them just to give the give the windows a little definition as well or something like back for a minute till something else comes up. <laughs> I can backtrack things. No, it doesn't hundred dollar add on. What that is crazy, Kevin. That is crazy. I thought I thought for sure that came with the with the interior. Yeah, at least a basic interior. Yeah, but the interior is nice. Like the cock the cockpit they have, like that's where I actually stole. Um, that's where I stole the uh, the lights for this one from the extra one, the extra cockpit I had for it. Well, the extra dashboard that they give you, but they give you two. They give you both options. They give you right hand drive and left hand drive options, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, cause most people would probably just give you the one and be like, "Here you go, be done with it." Right, make you pay for it if you want something yeah. different. Yeah, you want you want a left hand cockpit, pay for it. You want a right hand cockpit, pay for it. They send mm. you both like this. I thought it was pretty now, cool. Now you made a. Now you took advantage of the whole set too. Yeah. Got your money's worth. I don't want to. I don't want to force it like an end up freaking cracking the thing or something. You know. I think it's just a different, just slightly different curve on one side of it. Maybe the paint's really making up. I wonder when I screw the two of them together, maybe it will pull itself. Maybe just take a little sand and sand the outside of it because the paint's making up a difference so it won't fit in or something. Yeah, it's freaking weird. Like, I'm going to just run the exacto knife for running on it. Where's my exacto knife? RC Mass Manager is asking if you use screen protectors or window protectors to pre protect them from scratches. 
Me, like, like no. Phone. <laughs> well, I probably will whenever I, whenever I go to do the clear lacquer, I will. But as they get scratched, they get scratched. That's the way. I look at it like so. I probably right. should do. I probably should put something on them to protect it, like. I make some sort of space age polymer ceramic coating or something you yeah. could. That would be my master. That would be known as one little thing called common sense. You know? And you know what they say about common sense? It's not freaking common. Mixed in, yeah, it could be the pain. I've had that problem. Yeah, so. You see them trim a little bit with the exact one out. Make sure I don't trim yep. my finger. It'll be all right. You have a little sandpaper or like a emery board or something, nail file? Yeah, I have it. When you see, like, taking off off of the exact one, I can end, I'll sand it straight, you know? Mm hmm. Pigeon Kicker says saran wrap. You can wrap it with saran wrap. <laughs> So it's fitting there, it's fitting there. It's a small little bit there, where's that? Yeah, I can see how he's a thousand dollars into that truck already. If you got the truck and then the- Yeah. Oh, it 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 yeah, it does. Oh, you see, um, and parts like yeah, bumper probably after the market metal bumper front and back rep metal sliders. Yeah, well, it, it comes with all metal sliders, metal. Bumpers. Oh, okay, that's good. Sand here. Wow, well, everybody's live on Facebook. Horizon Hobbies Live, Skill Builders Guilds Live, Proline Racing's Live. Everybody's live. Yeah. yeah something new. Yeah, they're having a meeting or talk yeah. about Proline yeah. Horizon. Yeah. Skill Builders Guild is the moderator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that now. It's all the same guests, all the same things. Yeah, they're just talking about the, they're talking about the, what do you call it, the, the merger or whatever right. the hell they're talking about, but it's something that doesn't really affect me much. So. Yeah, it affects the the hobby shop where I, where, well, like 110 Hobby, he's yeah. saying if uh, he doesn't buy from Horizon, he can't because he doesn't have the square footage. So now that Proline's been bought out, is he still going to be able to buy from Proline? And Proline said yes. And then his reply to the yes was, for how long? Yeah, right. yeah. That's the thing. Like they all, everybody, and that's why even these talks right now, they'll tell, they're like, they're like politicians. They'll tell everybody what they want to hear. And then tomorrow morning, they wake up and say, nah, we changed our mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's wondering what my next build is. I'm still debating. I got something in the mail, though. So hopefully it's going to be here tomorrow. Then I'll show it maybe on Frank's or on uh, Steve O's or something. Yeah, you got to get another run video out in that nice course here, Steve. Right. I was going to run yesterday, but my I forgot to charge my stupid gimbal and took forever to charge. And what it rained. What's that? The DJI, is it? What was that? What one's that? The DGI? Yeah, DGI, the old one, like the Gen 1 or Gen 2 or something. It was 100 bucks a couple of years ago I picked it up. Yeah, the mobile. The, I have one I'm setting at my feet that I never really use at all. Like, don't forget to charge it. I don't think the battery likes it when you forget. Oh, when you forget to charge it. Hey, barbecue. Yeah. What's up? Hey, barbecue. Well, guys, my wife is calling me. Uh, supper's ready, so uh, I'll go eat, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. No problem. Thank you. I'll talk to you later.
Cheers. Have fun on your crawl. Thanks, Mike. See ya. Where the fuck I'm gonna throw this thing? I'm gonna pick this up and throw it across the fucking room. Very <laughs> soon. It won't fit. Yeah. You tried right, spinning it? Yeah, just right there. Just small little fucking bit in it. Just right in the middle there. Looks like, oh, here's Rich coming in. Yeah, afternoon, guys. Yeah, afternoon, Rich. How are you? All right, thanks. Sorry, I was not paying I saw the invite earlier. I was not paying attention to the time. I had it firmly in my head. Oh, that's 8 o'clock this evening. And I'm, and I'm thinking there, I'm mean, working away in the garage thinking, no, 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 you're three hours ahead of me, not beyond yeah. You haven't got you haven't got your video on, Rich. Oh, hang on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries, no worries. If people people can hear oh, that voice, and they're yeah. like, "There's the voice of God," you know. Yeah, like, yeah, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah. What are you working on the interaction, Rich? Oh yeah, I've just been putting it back together. Um, so one of my light bulbs is broken at the minute, which is not helping the light in here at all, actually. Um, but yeah, I've just fit the um, retrofit the. Hang on, let me pre let me present you there a minute. Hold on. Um, yeah. Spotlight video. There you go. I've just fitted wow. the uh, refitted in the um, the twin motors on here. So we've got eight S mo. Uh, we've got twin eight S XLX ESCs powered by twin eight S power RB batteries. I like to call it a total of sixteen S, but other people debate on it. But the thing <laughs> that I've done is fitted the um, two new twin turbo fans from Power Hobby on either side. Nice. This one, nice and simple. About five minutes work. Uh, this side, about four hours work. Yeah. Oh, I, because, uh, oh, hang on. Sorry, that side, sorry, about four hours work. Because if you look where the steering servo is kinked fully hard over, oh, okay. it, it, it was it was fouling on the edge of the twin fan setup on there. And uh, so I had to uh, take the whole thing like apart about two, three times to uh, get it right. But I've spent, I, put, like, I did a 16 hour solid on it the other day on uh, getting it all right so fingers crossed. i've had a quick, quick play with it around the yard but i've downside i turned down the punch level to 40 percent from 70 percent and it doesn't immediately light the tires up so it should be better for speed runs but it what uh, it wasn't great for going and like hooning around the yard with it but i've got the braking percentage to 100 and it now like stops on a dime which is really good because that was the major yeah. issue I had before but um yeah you have to calibrate both the scs with the receiver separately then wire them in to work as one and then i put the b-link on each one to make sure ex they've got exactly the same parameters so they're running as one because if one runs faster than the other then one motor is going to fight against the other yeah but um yeah so there's a lot, of, program there's a lot of programming in that man. yeah rc okay. rc next week he says hey rich what's up bro hey guys we, uh, i i am Got a, I'll see you next Tuesday. I have got a British invasion plan uh, one night, which Sean is more than welcome to join. <laughs> no problem. Just give me the give me the nod. Okay. Now, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and put that together and get everybody give everybody like three or four days notice on that because obviously everybody's checking their emails and things at yeah, once. Yeah, that sorted. But um, yeah. yeah, but I'm I've got the speed run body which I'm getting ready for the thing as well. Um, but um, to warn people, this is not the cheapest thing to run. Well, I, I built it not for speed, actually. I built it for like hooning round with. And on full throttle, it will get through a set of full set of four new tyres, which are $60 in total, in under eight minutes. What? That's fucking insane. <laughs> but, but, trust me, you have so much fun doing it. It's worth the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's ludicrous, though. Yeah. yeah. Actually, now, now, now that we have you live, what's. Um... Any challenges coming up you can tell the boys about? Well, people, a few people have been asking, and I like I did those first ones, and I, I got like 12 of them penned out. Yeah. And I was doing like two prizes a week, so it's like about $40 a week. So, and people might think, oh, that's not that much, you know, two prizes are like $40 a week, but $40 a week times 12 weeks. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's You know, it, it begins to add up um, on that, and you know, channel's not doing too badly, but um, 
current economy isn't great either. Yeah, yeah. So RC, RC next Tuesday said, let me know when for the British invasion. Yeah, cool. I will do, guys. I'll contact you via your about page and we'll swap emails uh, on that. But um, yeah, it'd be good to do that one, I think. That would be, uh, I've got yeah, a... Yeah, that'll be a bit of crack. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm thinking some introductory... Just for, just for everybody out there, when I say crack, I'm not talking about crack. I'm talking about <laughs> a bit of fun, like, you know. I'm thinking about um, introduction by something from the jam would be good Good music to come into. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm uh, sweating a bit, guys, in here. It's like about, it's 94 inside. I'm in the basement, which is slightly cooler. But yeah. we had a massive thunderstorm the other night for like two hours. And you think, oh, well, that's great. That's cooled everything down. It's just made everything more humid because, of course, all that water's now evaporated. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks. Yeah. We, had a, we had a thunderstorm last night, and it's like today it was like, oh, this is just heaven relief. Like, because the last two weeks was absolutely ridiculous. Like, it, I've been in New York a couple of times when it's like height of summer and it's really sticky. It's just, yeah. yeah. The last two weeks is yeah. bonkers. Like, oh, finally, this fucker fits. I was okay, going to say, better. you're making a nice job of that, Sean. I didn't want to distract you on there. Yeah, nice a, bit of, a bit of fucking exacto knife and a bit of sandpaper. It fucking fits. Awesome. So that's, probably, that's probably what it was, the thickness of the paint. It was just stopping the fucker going down in, you know. And what else are you working on, Rich? Oh, well, you said on the thickness of the paint. I actually build up, like, I like these old like 60s, 70s muscle cars and build oh, up oh. quite a few of these on it. But you have to be so careful in not like overpainting the parts because you, if you yeah. like overpaint the um, the like little spigots that say go in this, the forms of suspension arms, then you're having to scrape the paint off because it won't go in the, the wheel hub and stuff like that. So I know precisely what you mean on like the overpainting. Um, just painting, I'm just prepping a new 911, HPO Racing 911 body. Um, that's painting in the basement at the minute, um, which is in light blue, but I've not got the colour up here. So that's coming on All quite right. nicely. Um, and I'm just putting together that big 12S, finishing off the um, that 12S hypercar thing. So uh, I'm a key, I've had it on the garage floor for about a week now, which everybody thinks like, it's really bad. How are you not running it? I'll tell you, I am a little bit nervous, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. And it's like way too much power to be running in the yard. I mean, just in case anything goes wrong, like it doesn't break, something like that, even just a squirt of the throttle, the thing's gonna stuff itself into the, you know, the wall the other side on there. Um, just got a new ZD racing car in today. So just getting ready to unbox that in a minute. Um, most of my go fast stuff is nearly pretty much ready to go fast. So fingers crossed, get out of there during the week and um, start putting some bashing videos together again. Yeah. It's half the bottle getting it done time. Yeah, I mean, it's like I spent so much time in the workshop. Like I said, I spent 16 hours on that infraction the other day. Um, yeah, that's a fucking crazy amount of time. Dude. Yeah, but the thing being, right, I've only got that, like, that limited bit of workshop space in front of the banners in there. So when I had the thing in pieces, I'm thinking, oh, you ain't got no choice. I've got like two unboxings to do, but ain't got no choice but to put the thing together first yeah. before I can then do it. So like to get on with it, just had to um, do, do a late night stint on there. John's back. Must be dinner's over. Honey Lulu, hello. Hey, Honey Lulu, how are you? Oh, honey, uh, Wayne, Wayne's got... Um, yeah, Wayne's got a live unboxing oh, tonight. tonight. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to seeing how that body came out. Yeah. So, Mass wondering if you airbrush that body, Rich. Oh, sorry? Yeah. Mass Master's wondering if you airbrush that Porsche body. Um, no, I've I just just used normal Tammy my my um normal Tammy stuff on there. I would like to get Mass Master uh, um like a proper airbrush and I been debating it now for about four years and every time I think, I'm so nearly going to buy one then I think, you know, I'll spend the money on something else but something I'd like to kind of get into. I mean, we've got time on our hands now so I suppose it would be um, good time as now to work uh, to start and I've got a few bodies which need doing like the ones that have got two, three bodies for that 144001 
um, which uh, I'd like to get done. Um, but on the, I've got a mini body for the 144001, um, and a lot of people suggest the colours, which I didn't immediately think of, but he's blinding novice. He's go with British Racing Green and then put a Union Jack flag on the top. But I could, I could do the, the British Racing Green, but I might need somebody with a little bit of skill to put the Union Jack flag on the top or, yeah. uh, or buy a sticker for one. That was the mm -hmm. other thing I was thinking. Somebody must do it like a, a Union Jack, like a six by eight sticker that I could put on the top and trim with the um, exacto knife, as Sean says there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's it. When you get into the details of painting them, like, like I, I'm fine doing all of this stuff, but if we get into like, get into painting flags or anything like that, then that's a whole different ball game, like, you know, mm -hmm. completely different ball game altogether. Mm -hmm. I mean, the big Union Jack decal, no? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Just you got Union Jack Barbie decal, Barbie could, like, Barbie. one that's slightly bigger than the roof, and then stick it on. I've got my hot air gun, so I could soften it up, get it to fit, stretch over the roof. Um, yeah. If you want, I'll send you a big tray collar to the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> More than welcome to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 and a lot of people out there in the audience, Sean, that's now going, Shh. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. They're like, what? <laughs> What's he talking about? I'd say Jay and McMaster are probably the only two that, a uh, Kevin Gibbs, he probably would pick up on it. Like, so. <laughs> good, honey, chat, barbecue, how are you? Sean and Green Fog, hope you guys are great. And we're all good, honey, Lulu, thank you. We look forward to you and Wayne later on tonight. It should be mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll tune into that one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely should be a bit of fun. Yeah. Jay's fixing Elmo's ride. Who is? Jay's fixing the handlebars for Elmo's ride on the Max. Yeah, uh, Elmo, Elmo's X Max. That thing is freaking bonkers. Elmo's the, Elmo's the king of bison now. Uh, you know? I've oh, not seen fun. that. I'll have, to, I'll have to look that one out. Yeah. Yeah, he had. He sends. <laughs> He modified the uh, he modified uh, the X Max and put, a, put an Elmo figure on the X Max. And he, he's doing paddles worth with it there, like it's freaking hilarious. Yeah. Actually, there was one he slowed down, and uh, like when he slowed it down, you see Elmo's head going into the ground and going around like it's hilarious. So. I I'm thinking that jumper Kevin's is good, but I can see somebody beating that. The world record jump height. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the height, the, the height was in that video when it was like, like a, in that still photo of it, just crazy up in the air on there. But uh, I can see somebody beating that distance on there. Oh no, sixty meters is long, or sixty feet. No, not the jump. Yeah, sixty. Uh, no, sixty. Sixty meters, which is no, I couldn't remember sixty feet. I think the sixty meters would be insane. No, it, 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 it was like, a, it worked out as about 200 feet, I think. Yeah. Welcome, Basher Boy. Somebody, I'm sure, in the comment section will say, yeah, uh, 60 meters, 196 feet. Hey, RT Basher Boy. Yeah. Uh, but I've jumped. Hey, guys, welcome back, guys, FP. With, with, the, with my low C DBX LE on AS, I've cleared over 150 feet. Yeah. And that's, that, and we, and, that wasn't with a run up of anywhere near what Kevin hit it with yeah. at all. I mean, it's momentum on these big cars. The I momentum was, just like carries. I, it. Uh, I'm surprised that when it landed, it was able to freaking drive away. Again, yeah. 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 But I mean, my actually did, I think it cleared smidgen over 150 feet because I, I got the GPS look on a measuring thing and walked to where it landed. I'm smidgen over 150 feet. But we're talking. 35 to 40 foot runner under full yeah. acceleration. Now, Kev was coming in from what, two, 300 feet. So I'm thinking if you really went at it with like something like low CXLE, which weighs 33 pounds, and people. You, you, have, the, you have the rig right there in front of you to try it, no? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, would, that would definitely do it. <laughs> Yeah, but I think a lot of it is the momentum through the air as well. It's not just that speed. But I mean, Kevin's yeah. going really fast, so don't get me wrong, it's a really good jump uh, and things. But it, it's that car's probably weighing maybe 12, 13 pounds doing 80, 90 miles an hour, maybe 100 on there. But you could jump on the, 
Or is it 100? Yeah. So if you, you've got, but if you've got something that weighs three times as much, leaving the ramp at half the speed, you've got more momentum than the, the lighter weight car at a higher speed. And the momentum is going to what's carried the distance. They don't want to kick a ramp either. You just want to yeah. go straight because off. Everybody thinks, oh, well, the heavier car will drop faster. Gravity doesn't work that way. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter how heavy or light the car is, because it's still going to come down at the same rate on there. So, um, But the place I, I was thinking we could maybe give something a try is the shell sands in a minute. Like there's, you go down there in the morning, there's like 100, 100 kids down, you know, 100 kids down there during a weekday, upwards of 200 people down at the weekend. And I, I was going down there doing those big air jumps with, and there was literally nobody around because I was even worried about somebody walking out with a dog. Dog runs out in front of it, the car, and that lands on the dog and um, game over. Oh. Viral video. Yeah. 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 I'll be, I'll be, ask, I'll be asking the guards from my cell how many views it's got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you know how many views my my video where I killed that kid has? Honey <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Lulu says it looks fantastic, Sean. Yeah. What's that? Honey Lulu says it, the, that's looking fantastic. Oh, yeah. thank you very much, Honey Lulu. I can, I can just picture the court case going well until Richie stands up in front of the jury and goes, yes, a million views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, Honey Lulu, this Honey Lulu is for USTE. This is so I can keep up with the pussy wagon, you know? So that's I'm good getting that, there. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I probably will end up doing a clear lacquer over it with this dough. That's one. That's the thing I like about USTE. Like it's just everything scale. Like you bring whatever you want, but every most of the stuff is all like 1.5, 1.55s. Like you know, it's all just scale is thin. Even look super scale. Even, even looking at the door trim and the inside, which you wouldn't normally kind of yeah. get. To see. That's a good shot that Sean on there to to show people how scale it is on the inside. Yeah. yeah. That's it. it. Even has the the rear view mirror and everything in it. Though. Oh, very neat. The interior is the interior is crazy too. Like here's the interior for it. I was just gonna say, yeah. Like so, the interior even has for see all the little seatbelt things and everything. Oh, very neat. All the little yeah. red seatbelt things has the handbrake, has everything in it too. So it's pretty cool. So it's fun. It gives it, it keeps me busy, keeps me occupied. You know, keeps me out of trouble. Because we know we can get in trouble yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. How many hours have you got in that so far, Sean? If you mind me asking. And how, many, how long do you think to finish? I, I haven't even, like, I still have to take the chassis all apart and grease the whole chassis and everything. Oh, right. okay. like, do everything. So already I probably have, what, but 30 hours in it probably. Yeah. 20, 30 That's hours in it. it. And, so you're already looking really good. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I'll still probably next week I'll do another live to finish, to maybe finish off the body just, and then I'll start working on the, like I have everything here. I have the, the 20 turn motor, have the power HD servo, the hobby wing 1080. I'll get all of that stuff to go in it, yet too. Like, so that'd be cool. I think I'll get, get another live out of the body alone. Cause in between, I'll probably do the clear lacquer or something. Do something like that, maybe in between. Turn them out, turn those magnets over. Yeah, I definitely got to do that. Turn them two door magnets over. I wanted the laser nut, but we really debating on another scaler. I love the building process. Yeah, the same as me, Kevin Gibbs. I just love building them, putting them together damaging them and then putting them all back together again. Because like the Range Rover that I built, here's like, like, so I'm waiting on all new hinges coming in. I had a really bad rollover. When it rolled over, like the two doors opened, caught well, caught on the rollover and just ripped them clean off the hinges and everything. Like, it's like crazy. 
but it's fun getting to put it all back together again because that's a that's a camel truck that I actually built for USTE as well. I was just taking it out, test driving it and doing it. And it's my own stupidity because the first time around I made it and then I didn't like the camera angle in the video. So like I, I, on the first time I nearly lost it and then I didn't like the camera angle when I watched the video back. So I changed the camera angle, the different angle, went to do it again the second time, boom, I lost it. And I was at the end of the river and everything It went like sick. It's insane. It's like that danger of one last speed run, isn't it? Every time you just know it's going to go wrong. <laughs> yeah. I know. You see so many young guys doing the speed runs and you're like, right, which pass is it going to happen? And then the next one is like, probably out of the speed runs, I put up probably like three out of four. I don't put up anything on there right? because like something goes amiss. It just doesn't feel right. And it's just, it's just not worth it. But Yeah. Dude, the one you've done with, the one with the first day you tested that the infraction with the double motors, yeah, in the parking lot that day, you were so lo- if that had to hit that concrete curb, like the two, the two, the, the two tree tra- the telegraph poles, yeah, like, the, the, and it goes through the gap. And then, then I get down there, I was thinking, well, that was quite lucky, <laughs> yeah, you were so lucky there because if that had a like. That could have just been a complete yeah. mess of a truck. If anybody's not seen this video of the 16S infraction, right, it's doing 101 miles an hour when, I wouldn't say it loses control, but I'm not sure if it went out of radio range. It was just I, I put the brakes on and it just didn't seem to slow a lot, but it carried on going straight. And it goes, there's t- some telegraph poles on the edge of the parking lot surrounding it. And there is a gap of about 20 feet between the two, just of the, there is just one gap of 20 foot between these two telegraph poles and the car goes through these and gets slowed down in all the heather and the trees and stuff like that and escapes completely undamaged but like what probably eight foot to either side and the whole thing would have 101 miles an hour would have been like a write-off or, yeah, or more like a, was... a california wildfire <laughs> i know yeah that again like always one of them up because that was all dry birch. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, now I've got it, the, the brakes on the thing now. Both of them run 100%. I mean, it's it stops ridiculously fast now. Yeah. Uh, in the main, I'm going to have to worry about it um, flat spotting the tyres or just sliding um, and not give it, you know, the full beans unless I have to under braking. Yeah. But gonna, I've no idea how fast it'll go because people see keep, people watch the video and say, Oh, you idiot! You need to put more downforce on wider tires, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think, well, yeah, but I didn't. I state in the video, I didn't build this for speed runs. You know, I built it so I could just hoon the thing around parking lots. And um, I, I would like. I've got a speed run body for it. I've got one of these unbreakable um, Bugatti Veyron bodies. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, I need to find somewhere like probably not a public road to run it in. Um, and then probably different radio. And the, the only thing is, if I switch the radio out, you lose the ABC, which is a big part in keeping all that power, you know, in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honey Lulu, I think that could be a great idea. You could bring, I could bring my slice four by four. You could bring a few bikers. We could actually have a bit of fun down there, PSTE as well. But they do, the actually have, they do actually have a big ramp as well. So. Mass Masters wondering what tracks this is going to come out with next since they came out with a monster truck last. Yeah, we, a lot of people, everyone that's commented on the video I did of, the original video I did of it, seems to say it's overpriced. What were they thinking of? Oh, for the horse? Yeah, for the horse. And I am beginning to kind of agree with that perspective on there. I'm not driven it yet. The only thing, one thing I would say is I suspect it's got a really good power to weight ratio because it doesn't look to have a lot of weight in it, but with that big 540 XL motor, it's gonna have a lot of torque in there. So I think it could be quite a monster um, to actually drive, but I think it probably is pushing it on the price end. I think if it had been like 399, 379 like that, probably would sell extremely well. Gut fill is, and what I thought they were gonna come out with, I did a rumor on, was a no prep drag racer. And people might think, oh, they're jumping on the bandwagon with no prep drag racing. Uh, Traxxas, one of the first people, or certainly the first ready to run dragster, was made by Traxxas. Yeah. Um, did, really welcome in. Yeah. Funny um, didn't, didn't sell that well at the time, 
is now going for stupid money if you can find one on eBay. I got one. Um, that, I got one. The funny, yeah. You have oh. one, Keegan, yeah. I got a funny car in the box here. Oh, nice. Oh, still oh. in the box, even too, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You want to definitely you want to keep on to that. That's that, that you're just going crazy money. Yeah. And um, but yeah, so I can see and people said, oh, well, they're jumping on the bandwagon again because people are converting two wheel drive slashes to dragsters. Yeah, uh, I think there's something called irony there. Uh, Try to <laughs> make the slash. <laughs> like, <laughs> so how could they be jumping yeah. on the bandwagon? I mean, it would just be, you know, and somebody said, oh, well, they'll just release a dragster based on a slash. Surely that would be a good thing. Yeah. You'd think so, like you know. No, no, it would be, it would keep the price point down, and everybody forgets that like these companies are in business yeah. to make money. You know, they, they they've got a bit, they've got to cut back on something to keep the card down to a reasonable price. If that Thanks makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What's Honey, Lulu, one. Oh. Yeah, RC next truth is one. And what's your view on the Kai, Kaiju? I know everybody that has it love it. Like on the red cat, uh, kaiju, however you pronounce that, kaiju, kaiju, whatever. Uh, well, you're I'm, collecting day, Rich. Yeah, well, I, I've, I've not got to see it in person yet because they, um, when they released it, uh, JJ Customs, was my new big red cat dealer, was closed. Um, most of the trucks I, that I buy, I tend to like to see in person before buying it. Yeah, um, it, just like, to be on the safe side, you know, even you think even a cheap RC car is going to be like two hundred bucks. It's still a lot to spend to get it wrong to spend for five hundred. Yeah, even more so if that makes sense. So yeah, it seems to have a pretty good rep though. Yeah, it seems to have like everybody, everybody I know so far that God, it seems to love it. Like, how did I lose a full bag of freaking? Tiny, tiny, oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Sean, UST's in Williston, Florida. Williston, Florida. Will, we are Will, Williston or Williston, Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, in, it's on in February. Right, see. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, uh, 6S slash ultimate. Yeah, so USTE is like by far my favorite event out of it because it's like there's no, it just bring bring what you have, run what you have. Mainly, it's mainly there for scalers, like, but they, you can bring whatever you have and run whatever you have. And there's no, like, there's no, oh, you have to run this track in this certain amount of time. You have to do that. You could go out, there's, there's like a 10, there's 10 courses or something through the trails, but they're all set up with like, scale buildings and ramp or bridges and so everything even even the trails are actually built scale the guys spend thousands of hours on the trail is building the trails and yeah, says, there's, there's somewhere out here in california that's uh, and i think there's nothing on the east coast i think but somewhere in california and in maybe in the midwest there's um, a couple of these model villages where people go and have tank battles Oh, yeah, yeah. RC Unix Truth, they actually, I think, done a video in England. They, they went to a place in England. It was like a completely oh. tiny little village. Village, yeah. yeah. But my friend was saying, um, my friend Alan um, over in New Jersey, he's into the tanks. And, um, he's just, some of these electronic systems that they can buy that they use in these competitions, the you buy a specific one for your tank. So it's not like, well, it's like a universal system, but you buy one for like a Sherman tank and I buy one for a, a German Tiger tank and they're set up differently. So that when you are hit by like the laser target from it, the, the amount of damage your tank suffers is in relation to what the original tank would cause oh, your tank. Oh, so they're yeah. not firing at each other evenly. So the small tank, isn't necessarily going to win against the big tank. It might need two of the small tanks to gang up against the bigger one, if that makes yeah. sense. Well, I know Shin, R Shin RC, he used to do a lot of tank battles. Yeah, yeah like proportional Shin, damage. A lot of tanks can do tank battles yeah. too. That's what I'm thinking, Green Fox, sorry, proportional damage. That's what I'm, I'm trying to think of, yeah. yeah. But I mean, sometimes... Else... How, how's everything you, Sticky? Good. Yeah. I had to be home from work. 
<laughs> Monday number two is finished. Yeah, I know, yeah. It felt like Monday number two today for some weird reason. Yeah. Ugh. They're all... Yeah. I was at work thinking to myself, how can I get out of this? You know? Yeah, I was I, I was thinking about going home at like one o'clock today. <laughs> uh, there's only a couple more hours left. <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully we're getting past this sort of cluster of work that popped That's up and then we can get back to normal. Yeah. How is it up you in the Bay Area still? Is it still crazy up there, is it? Or? Up and down, it's, I think, I believe it's still in the, on the increase. Um, like San Jose's a lot higher cluster than we've got. Um, then to the north, Napa, there's, I wouldn't say a handful of cases, but it's down to a few hundred and, you know, um, virtually double digit deaths on there. So that, yeah, that's like a, a better place to, uh, to be. So, Better place to be. Uh, hang on, guys. Sorry, I've just got Izzy's company. Yeah. Izzy, yeah. Izzy. Rescue next Tuesday says, yeah, it's gorgeous. And it was 1940s based, the battlefield. I'm thinking. Yeah, that, that place was cool as hell where they went to, like, so, like old, old buildings. Like, so if you ever, if you get a chance, go back through their videos and watch it. It's like all these old cool buildings, like real scale, like, so. Full, it's like a whole village built. Yeah. Like, do you ever watch the? Do you ever watch the movie um, Hot Fuzz? Do you ever watch Hot Fuzz at the end of Hot Fuzz where they they chase the guy into like a village or something like that? Like, I've stayed in that. I've stayed in the Hot Fuzz village. With me and Jenny used to go and stay in a hotel there. We probably stayed in that around that village about half a dozen yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my um, I haven't uh, seen him make any movies in a while. No? I think he writes quite a bit for I think they both write stuff yeah. for other people's comedies as well. Um, because I, I have a feeling that might have even been co written by both of them, but I know they've co written stuff since then. Yeah, I just haven't um, seen the two of them acting yeah. in anything, no, because they, they got got a, funny freaking wrestler stuff. family, something. He was a father, and there's a movie about wrestling family. Based on reality, I forget what it's called. Oh, the, right. the, yeah. the stout guy, not the redhead, the other guy. Oh, okay, cool. And he's in it, yeah. He's the main guy. Yeah, yeah he's the father in a wrestling movie. It's based on reality about a English wrestling girl that comes over to the U.S. and wrestles. Mm. The one with purple hair. I forget what her name is. A page or something is it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's her. Sorry about the interruption. I'll go find it. I have the DVD. I think it's Wrestling Family or something. I'll find out. Can you say? Yeah, sorry about the slight interruption there, guys. As he was coming down laughing hysterically, saying, uh, she has this Disney Frozen Jeep, you know, one of the little kids' ones that you can drive around in. Yeah, yeah. Said, Daddy, I've had a warranty recall, and she's laughing like crazy because, of course, <laughs> it's one of these spam calls on her phone saying, please, please note your car has got a warranty recall on it. <laughs> yeah. I know some of the stuff the kids come out with, man. It's freaking hilarious stuff. It's yeah, funny, I know it's a crime. I'm trying so hard not to laugh when she's standing outside the door. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, she starts school again next well, next week, but doing virtual learning again. So she's she's back next week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do it. a few more places are open out here, like the zoo, San Francisco Zoo's open. We've been there a couple of times. That's it reopened cool. already, yeah. Yeah, um, and that's uh, that's safer than going to the supermarket or just about any shop going. And they're contactless the whole way through. Um, very, very like hand sanitizer. Well, there's loads of hand sanitizer in the zoo anyway, but it's just everywhere you can look now. So, yeah, that felt about one of the safest places we've been. Um, they limit the numbers of people in there, so people aren't like yeah. each other. But I mean, that's so you feel sorry for them because that's running at like 20 or 30 thousand dollars worth of food for the animals a day. So, with like no income in that's like a disaster for them. Yeah, that's crazy. And when you think about it like that, like you don't really, 
don't really think about that, like, you know. Yeah, I mean, I know you put people before kind of animals thinking about it, but at the same time, I, you know, you'd like to see them, like, literally starving to death, wouldn't you? But it wouldn't be. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got three. We've got three. Isabella's got um, three chicken, three chicks that we've got at the minute. So that's a, her latest project. So uh, quite fun to look after those. So I drove to the other side of the bay to buy those on Friday. And they move so fast, it's scary. <laughs> What's that, the chickens? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're only chicks, but I mean, they're growing rapidly, even just over two or three days, you notice in the, the size difference on that. So we're uh, picking them up quite a lot to uh, sort of get used to being handled and uh, yeah. As the last thing this earth, I'd be thinking of buying the chicken. <laughs> well, we thought we'd liked them in New Jersey where we had lots of room. Um, I mean, we're thinking about getting some debt, but then Jen got the new job over here, so then we, we moved. But otherwise, we would have had them because we had a big barn in New Jersey. We could have put them in and brought them in at night, and they'd have been perfectly safe. It's obviously a lot more predators out in New Jersey. You need to bring them in at night and stuff. But um, yeah, we would have had room for a load of them. Yeah, for all the foxes, we, all the foxes be coming after them. Yeah. Rich, what about Ventura there? You, you not get any chickens in Ventura, you know? Uh, you have a few people that'll have them in their backyards, um, but they keep them mostly penned up. We have a lot of coyotes. Um, we got mountain lions, coyotes. Uh, we actually just had a bear, um, not too far from us. Oh yeah. Um, so there's, there's some wildlife. I mean, we're not that far away from sort of the, the edge of the city going more into the wilderness. So it's, where you get a little bit more here, but closer to the center of town, it's not as much, but yeah. 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 Speaking of bears, wait, Sean, in, um, in Morristown, which is in New Jersey, folks, um, which are like quite, a, probably one of the major cities in New Jersey. Uh, one day I'm driving into Morristown and the traffic's grinding to a halt. And um, as I get nearer, so there's like one square and all of the traffic kind of goes through the square at some you, what, if you're going north, south, east, west, you've got to go through the square. And um, it's like a 9-11 style, the amount of fire trucks, police cars, I've never seen anything outside of a, like a major, major sort of incident of some form, right? And um, driving past and looking up and I see the, I'm looking across and I see these like about 16 firemen holding this blanket and I'm thinking, what the hell are you holding the blanket for? And then I look up, I'm fast asleep in the tree. There's a baby bear about six foot long. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he was going to drop in there, right? Yeah, and they didn't want to fire a dart up into it in case it then dropped down and then they became, like, nervous. And it, the whole centre ground to a halt for, like, about six hours until, like, the bear woke up and then somebody managed to coax it back down onto the ground and then they shot it <laughs> not not with it not with a gun you know but uh, with um with the dart uh, yeah. to, uh, to put it out and um, but i think that made like the national news at the time but just seeing like all i mean it, it, there must have been like <laughs> over a hundred emergency service vehicles i have never seen as many things as i just said outside like a, a 9-11 type incident just just <laughs> yeah. oh, to get to the square right it has to have walked through probably at least six blocks of residential or business streets to get to the square. Yeah. Right? And nobody <laughs> noticed it. Like, it, you know, and it, and it was, it had been there supposedly since about six or seven o'clock in the morning. But even then, there's like people would be leaving Morristown to drive into, you know, New York and stuff like that. I think somebody might have thought, oh, Oh, a bear. I might call the police. <laughs> and every, there was a, then nobody seemed to comment on the fact everybody's coming oh, the bears climbed up the tree. I'm thinking, no, how did the bear get in the damn park? <laughs> hey, you, you would think somebody would notice a bear in the middle yeah. of the city. In the city, yeah. Well, I mean, just because Morristown is such a choke point, even to like 
to get to a lot of other places, your GPS yeah. will direct you through Morristown, you know, and you can think, oh, great, it's going to take me. I always used to laugh at my wife and say, all right, it, you, you could be heading south and it would still take you north through Morristown to get to where you're going. And, um, but yeah, the bear in the tree, that was comical with all these guys with a big blanket below. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, you really think a 16, a 16 of you, you're holding a blanket, it's going to stop a, like, a 250-pound bear. <laughs> Called fighting family, Sean. Fighting family. Fighting with my family. Yep. Fighting with my family. Let's check that out. Okay. I definitely check that out. Cause he's it, it, he's funny as hell. But this is that's like a true story. That one, yeah. Yeah, I think it's based on that girl's life. Well, Roughly, I mean, anyway. well, wrestling was big in the UK on like um, uh, yeah, Big Daddy uh, and what? Yeah, yeah, Big Daddy when I was growing up. My grandma, sex and stuff, yeah. uh, when my mum was at work, my gra I used to um, be with my grand quite a bit at the time. And um, my grandmother was probably like into her 70s then. And she was actually a huge wrestling fan. <laughs> she was mortified when they took it off TV. <laughs> But you just look at her and you think, no, that lady is never going to be interested in wrestling. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, by sure, boy. That movie you're talking about, that was an awesome movie where they were doing the arm wrestling for the mm -hmm. truck over the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was Sly Stallone, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And that's, um, that's the Fuck. truck that Steve O.D. is going to build. Yeah, I think that, yeah, Kamiya is the over-the-top rig. I think that's the yeah. one he got. Uh, I think that's the one he got uh, things for in it. Yeah. The Freightliner. Yeah, I thought well, Steve was going to go live Friday, but not. Uh, yeah. And he, like stuff, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, something went wrong with his, his link or something, because he sent out the link and then I don't know when I clicked in on it, the link wasn't working. So. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw that I was, we were already gone Friday night, and I just saw on Saturday, I saw the emails back and forth that it, yeah, it didn't work. And yeah, I don't know what happened. So, what do you think, guys? Quick question for you. Now is it, uh, so here's the back door. Never, here's the back door and all on. The back door all opens too and goes. But should I put, this is for the, a spur wheel. Doesn't come with spur wheel, I had to buy one. So should I actually put the spur wheel on the back like this? Or do you think I should put the spur wheel on the hood? On the back. Yeah, I think so. Put it on the back. It, it it look it would look better scale wise I would say on the back. Your yeah. advantage obviously if you put it on the front, your advantage is weight's going to be in your favour. Yeah, the weight will keep it down. Like, but that the bonnet's actually pretty cool. Look, there's even a wrap rod. Yeah. A... Yeah, I mean I know my tear. I only said about putting it on the back because like yeah. on the front there because on my TRX4 when I took the um, the wheel off the back. It, I was climbing like 12 in the, in the See that? Even comes with its own. I know I crawl that. Yeah. Even to hold up the. the mirror. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's all every little detail in this freaking thing. Like, I, I will give them that, you know? And, it, and from the looks of it, it's, <laughs> the lines are tight. The, mm -hmm. the doors look good and lined up. and Yeah, they do. Like, oh. you know? Sean, does does the bonnet um the hood lock lock down on it? Yeah, it does. I just haven't put the oh, okay. The, there's magnets to go in here as well. Okay. Yeah. So there's magnets go here, and then in these in these holes right here, there's actually screws. Right. Okay. So they'll they'll snap so that. You, so you'd be fine if you if you did fit it on the front. It's not going to bounce around then. That's yeah, what makes yeah. it. So it's not gonna. It's not like the hood's flopping around. Yeah, and not bounce around. Like, and then yeah. I did order. Hold on, let me just. Welcome, Heidi Lisa. 
So I have ordered. Hey, Javier, brother. How's it going on, man? Well, let me see. How's everybody one? doing, brother? Hey, I'm driving. I'm driving, so I cannot see the chat and just say hi to everybody. <laughs> hey, Javier. So hey, I, have, Rich. I have ordered. Oh, Rich. This, I have ordered this engine for it. Oh yeah, oh, nice. I've ordered that engine because that actually sits right on the. It goes around the motor. But the cool thing about yeah. that engine, see these blowers and intakes. Oh, sweet. these actually these actually work. Like, <laughs> so these blowers and intakes. So they, I'll I'll actually hook them right up to. I'll hook them up to each side here, right underneath because the grills that come there are perforated. So I'll hook the blowers. So they'll actually be sucking air and blowing air, in around <laughs> the motor too. Be pretty close. Getting getting re ready for USD, huh, bro? Yeah, that's it. That's the, well, I, I'm probably gonna not do any more to this tonight, though. Oh, so there's a perfect angle. You can see that radiator oh, nice. from that angle. So I don't know what somebody in the chat was saying. Maybe do a copper collar, and then somebody saying do I don't know what collar to do this like to have it because then there's a nice there's a nice grill to go. So you have the grill to go back over the top with them too, you know. So I don't know what color, what color they actually do inside there. Or just do, do it in like an aluminum collar, even you know. A lot of those like modern radiators have like a um, almost like a blue metallic tinge to them. Yeah. So they're silver, but with a, like a hint of blue on on some. If that makes any yeah. sense to anyone, um, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, maybe it's just the sunlight on certain ones, but that just pulls out that little hint of blue in it. So I will, I will say though, this thing is like. Thank maybe, you for your service, brother. Pretty super. It is pretty super scale. Like when you see it, when you put the interior in there. It's gonna be cool, like you know. Everything opens. I'm probably not going to build anymore. So, what do you think? Do you think I should do a like a clear coat varnish over it to protect the paint? Or might as well. Yeah, I think I should maybe because I think maybe the yeah. rock, uh, the first rock, might take it all off. Oh, and look, um, that was that was the only thing I was going to say. Is it depends is how hard are you going to go at it in terms of terrain and bashing the body if you're going to keep it. Going away from stuff where you're, you're not going to turn it over, you're not going to scratch it. Then I would go for the clear coat for sure. Yeah, um, you can always touch clear. And there's it's like with a gas tank in it. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, this thing is super, super. Big. They sort of all the details in this thing. That's one thing I do like about it. And as I said, I'll probably like the bars in the wet in the glass. There's a bar runs down the glass there, and a bar. So I'll probably do them black. To have it like two separate windows, even I'll do a little black line down there. And they have on the front window, actually, this window, they have a bar runs across there too. I'll do the same. That'll look good. But I'm probably yeah. not going to build any more of it tonight. I've already been, geez, I've been on here more than two hours already. Really. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Get some dinner before we watch Honey Lulu's. I know, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that one, Honey Lulu's when we in. But that thing looks freaking sick. Eight o'clock, they're going, hey, Heidi, how are you? Welcome in. So if any of you haven't checked out Heidi's, go check out Heidi's channel. She does some funny, hilarious stuff. Like when she does the whispering, the whispering Liberian and stuff, like she does some really funny stuff. She's always on with, she's always on with, um, Ray. Ray, R.C. Dre. She's always on with R.C. Dre. I haven't actually seen Dre around in a while. As mm -hmm. Heidi, what about Dre? Have you been talking to him lately? Because I haven't seen him do any of his lives lately. I did his arm. I know, right? Super hot. His radio suggests him drink a soda to refresh your health. Spent about four hours. Oh, thanks, week. Heidi. It is. It's been about four weeks, right? Four, four, four hours the other week, yeah. um, work, taking a wire from the um, back of the cable. You lost, uh, Richie, you lost sign for some reason, Richie. 
Very, very low. Is that better? No, it's still low. It dropped the volume way down on you. Yeah, your volume dropped really low. Like the mic change. Better? Not sure. Don't, still, don't. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't changed anything. Yeah, you're very low. You're very low. Oh, okay. You know? Uh, I don't know what happened. Not sure. It's um, nothing's changed. Nothing on the thing on this end. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I bet I think looking about it time wise, I've still got quite a bit. Yeah, to I, I'm going to end this live now in a minute anyway. Well, too, so. leave you. Great to see everyone. Stay safe, everyone. And um, sorry, I've not had the comments going in the, in the background, folks. I've got a couple of other things um, uh, running in, in the, uh, the background. Not that anything should have affected the volume. But anyway, stay safe. Love to everyone out there. And we will be doing the British invasion very soon. No problem. Richie, have a good one. Okay, Thank you. Take care, Richie. Hey, Gus Customs, how's things? We were just doing a build for USPE. I still have all the interior to do. I still have all the trimming pieces to do, all electronics, but everything opens. It's like, I think I, that's a really cool feature. I love that. I just love that feature of the bonnet opening, like the, the little bar to hold it up. What chassis are you gonna use it on? Well, I have the I have the boom racing chassis for it. With All nice, right, right. With the nice steel wheels and everything on it, like so. Sweet. I have I have all the. So I have Come. the usual suspects. The, I have the Par HD servo, I have the twenty turn creeper crawler motor, and I have the Sweet. usual ten eighty. So. But I'll do I'll do them in another live. We'll put that because I still got to take that whole chassis apart, grease everything, tighten up all the screws, make sure everything's good. There's yeah. still a, there's still a bit of work to do in this thing yet. But it is even the back door have your look. Like, so. Oh man, that is sick, bro. Yeah, so back back door open. <clears throat> See in the back. You, you gotta tell Danny to 3D print a 50 cal, put it back right there. You open the back door, you see the 50 cal coming out. <laughs> I'll do like 50. And that's what I was thinking. Remember, when I was talking about last night about the gun racks? Like, yep. if I could put a couple of gun racks, but I have a couple of cool guns there too. Like, yeah. you know, so if I had a gun rack right there and you put the rack, put the guns against the both back windows. <laughs> yeah. And then I could put all the. Uh, I could put all the little ammo cans just lying on the back floor or something, maybe too, you know. But I like that. I like that idea of the 50 cal, Javier. A little open, guy open sitting it. right behind it there and the door opens. Yeah, opens the door. Got you. Yeah, because the cool thing about the... About, hold on, let me just turn this camera up. The cool thing about the ES-1, the sound system, the ESS-1, like when you go into the... When you plug that into the computer, like mm -hmm. on some of my trucks, I have a horn. But you can actually go and have machine gun instead of the horn. So you could flick a switch and it's just machine gun fire. That's all you'll hear. Like oh, <laughs> that will be sweet, bro. Yeah. So instead of instead of like beeping a horn, it'll just be a machine gun fire like crazy. Like you know? put like a servo to you to open the door. Yeah. You know? Something. Open the door with a remote. Yeah. And say hi. Hi. Have this guy sitting. Have this guy sitting right behind the fifty car, sitting waiting to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's an excellent idea, have you, you know? That could be cool. you, bro. Get the little tripod stand. Have it on the tripod stand and just sit there. <laughs> Good way to get rid of tailgaters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't worry, guys. I took my pills today, so. Yeah. <laughs> so your fifty car staying at home today. Staying <laughs> at home. Yeah. That's it. Well, guys, I suppose we could wrap this up and let it, let everybody get a bit eat, bit to eat before we in on Honey Lulu. Oh, sweet! What time do they go live? Um, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. okay. He's doing the Tamiya. He's doing the unveiling of the Tamiya body. At eight o'clock. Yeah. The one he yeah. dipped. The one he dipped the other day. I'm yeah, actually yeah. looking forward to seeing that thing. Like this, it looked yeah. cool in the dip when he done it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely will be there. All right, so everybody, actually, Sticky's gonna say goodbye first. Hey guys, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in.
And uh, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. And uh, yeah, awesome seeing everybody. Sorry, I uh, I got stuck at work. Man, it's a freaking job interfering with fun time. I know, it's crazy this weather. <laughs> like I'm lucky. I I'm actually lucky that I have some videos already uploaded in YouTube that are just sitting private. But I haven't had time to go out and run anything at all. Like it's freaking crazy. Yeah, you? Say your goodbyes. Oh, thank you, Sean, for for inviting me. People in the chat, sorry, I can't see the chat. Hi to everybody. Stay safe. Yeah, no problem, Javier. It's always a pleasure to have you. Everything you do just makes our lives better. So, thank you, brother. Thank you for being part of it. All of you guys. Cool. To have you in our life. And, you know, Kagan. Cool. Thanks for having me and Sean. I like watching you build, man. It's amazing. You'd no be problem. just chit chatting away, and next time you show us something, you got half a door on here, another door on there. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Very good. And everybody, thanks for taking the time to stop in by us. Um, please just go quickly and get something to eat. And at 8 o'clock, Wayne Kibler's, go check out his um, his live. He, he honey, well, not honey. I keep saying honey dip, but his is kid dip. Isn't it? His honey, yeah. is a, honey Lulu's is a honey dip. His is a kid dip. So he actually <laughs> dipped the body last week and then he backed it up with the uh, the armor flex, so he's actually going to peel the plastic on the thing tonight. Yeah. So, everybody, thank you very much for taking the time to stop in, and we'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. Don't forget Tony's tonight. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. about Tony's. Well, we'll, we'll tell we in the we'll tell right. we in the to yeah, we'll tell Same we people. in the say that one, like so. Yeah, okay. All right, so guys, have a good night. Me end this meeting. Actually, let me just end it on YouTube first.